Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, three circles of different dimensions fully inscribed in a blue rectangle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the radius uh, of this uh, blue circle is uh, 18. The radius of this uh, yellow circle is uh, 12 and the radius for this uh, green circle is 9. And now our task is uh, to find the distance uh, x uh, between uh, points uh, A and uh, B. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's uh, make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, distance between points A and uh, B is uh, equal to this uh, length uh, AC and this uh, length uh, CB as you can see in this uh, equation and now we can see that this distance between point A and point uh, B is uh, represented by X so therefore I'm going to replace uh, AB by X and now our task is uh, to find the length uh, AC and uh, the length uh, CB. Let me go ahead and call uh, this our equation number one. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. The angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be equal to 90 degrees. And in our case, uh, this uh, blue line is our tangent and these are our radii. No wonder these angles have got to be 90 degrees each. And since uh, all these lines are parallel to each other, so therefore uh, this angle is going to be 90 degrees as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, blue and uh, yellow circles. And in this next step, I have connected uh, their centers uh, D and uh, E. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact, centers and the point of contact uh, that is also called a point uh, for tangency are uh, collinear. So therefore all these three points, these centers and this uh, point of tangency lie on the very same line. And now we can see the radius of this uh, blue circle is 18 and the radius of this uh, yellow circle is 12. So therefore this whole uh, total uh, distance uh, DE is going to, we're going to add uh, them up and that is going to give us uh, 30 units. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped uh, this perpendicular DP on this uh, line uh, CE such that we got this uh, right uh, triangle uh, DPE. And now let's go ahead and uh, focus uh, on this uh, right triangle DPE and we are going to calculate uh, this side length uh, PE and now we know that uh, this uh, is the radius of uh, this uh, blue circle which is uh, 18 so therefore uh, this uh, has got to be 18 units as uh, well and moreover we know that this uh, is the radius uh, of this uh, yellow circle which is uh, 12 let me write down so therefore uh, this uh, distance uh, PE is going to be the difference uh, of uh, 18 and then minus 12 that is going to give us uh, 6 units. So therefore our side length uh, PE turns out to be 6 and now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, side length uh, DP. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg uh, as our side uh, c. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this as a lowercase uh, b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. a square plus uh, b in our case is 6. So this becomes 6 square equal to c is uh, 30 square. Let's go ahead and subtract uh, 36 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore a square turns out to be 864. Let's undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore a turns out to be equal to and now let's focus on the right hand side square root of 864. I have copied it down and if we simplify everything uh, this turns out to be 12 times uh, square root of uh, 6. So therefore on the right hand side I can write uh, 12 times uh, square root of uh, 
6 and now we can see that this side length a is actually this uh, length uh, dp as you can see over here so our dp length turns out to be 12 times the uh, square root of 6 and now let's focus on this uh, rectangle uh, dpca as to these opposite side length uh, this one is going to be congruent to this one if this is uh, 12 times the uh, square root of 6 so this side length uh, ac has got to be 12 times the uh, square root of 6 as well so thus our this uh, length uh, ac turns out to be 12 times the uh, square root of 6 as you can see over here and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, yellow and uh, green circles now and this time i have connected uh, their centers e and uh, f as you can see over here and i have uh, dropped this uh, perpendicular fq on this uh, line uh, ec such that we get uh, this uh, right uh, triangle uh, efq and now let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, eqf we know that this uh, is the radius of this uh, yellow circle which is uh, 12 and this is the radius of this green uh, circle which is uh, 9 so therefore this whole uh, length uh, ef is going to be 12 plus 9 is going to make it uh, 21 so thus our this side length uh, turns out to be 21 now let's go ahead and calculate uh, this side length uh, qe and now we can see that this uh, is the radius uh, of this uh, blue circle which is uh, 18 so therefore this whole thing is going to be the diameter of this uh, blue circle that is going to be 2 times 18 is going to be 36 so therefore uh, this uh, distance is going to be 36 uh, as well and we know that this uh, is the radius uh, of this uh, green uh, circle which is 9 so therefore uh, this distance uh, is going to be 9 uh, as well and likewise uh, this uh, distance uh, is the radius of this uh, yellow circle which is uh, 12 so therefore uh, this uh, distance uh, QE is going to be equal to this uh, 36 minus 9 minus 12 let me write down 36 minus 9 minus 12 that is going to give us 15 so therefore our this distance this side QE turns out to be 15 units and now our task is to calculate this side length QF so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg our side c I'm gonna call this side a and this side uh, b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula a square plus b in our case is 15 square equal to c is 21 square and now let's go ahead and subtract 225 from both sides this uh, is gone so therefore uh, a square turns out to be 216 let's go ahead and undo this square by taking uh, the square root on both sides so therefore a is going to be equal to and now let's focus on the right hand side the square root of 216 i have copied it down and if we simplify this turns out to be 6 times the square root of 6 so therefore a turns out to be 6 times the square root of 6 and now we can see that this length a is equal to this side length qf so therefore our qf value turns out to be 6 times the square root of 6 and now let's focus uh, on this uh, rectangle uh, QFBC we know that this uh, side length is congruent to this uh, side length if this side length is 6 times uh, square root of 6 so this side length has got to be 6 times uh, square root of 6 uh, as well so thus our length uh, CB turns out to be 6 times uh, square root of 6 as you can see over here as well and here's our final step let's focus on this uh, equation one 
and here I have copied it down and now let's go ahead and replace these A, C and C, B values that we already figured it out over here. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So our distance x is going to be equal to 12 times the square root of 6 plus 6 times the square root of 6. And if we add this thing, x turns out to be 18 times the square root of 6. So thus our x value turns out to be 18 times the square root of 6 units. And that is approximately equal to 44.1 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.